Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a lotion inspired by Cleopatra's Secret, which is sort of more or less Egyptian magic, which is a pretty expensive but widely loved body butter that's based on bee goodness. So honey and beeswax and olive oil and pollen and all kinds of other awesome bee things. So this lotion takes a lot of those awesome ingredients and turns them into something that's a lot lighter. So if you love Egyptian magic slash Cleopatra's secret, but you don't love how heavy it can be, you're gonna love this lotion. As with all lotions, this one has a water part and an oil part. So the oil part in this one is a blend of olive oil and beeswax with some emulsifying wax so that, you know, the lotion emulsifies. And then the water part is of course water, and then there's some honey, and some bee pollen, and some royal jelly. And then you can add some propolis if you want to. I completely forgot to add it while I was making it. It was like sitting right there and I just completely forgot to add it, didn't even see it. So if you do want to add it, add it at the time that I add the royal jelly and I will include the amounts for that in the description box below. I did opt to add some lavender essential oil to the finished lotion to give it a bit of a lavendery scent, but that is completely optional or customizable. If you wanted to add something like rosemary or tea tree or a blend of your other favorite essential oils, you absolutely can. Once you've got all of your lotion ingredients gathered up, this lotion comes together really easily. So come on, let's get started. We'll begin by preparing our water part and our oil part. So in here I have 80 grams of distilled water and to that I'm going to add half a teaspoon of bee pollen and this bee pollen has obviously been ground. When you get it, it's in little granules sometimes. So if, you, if yours isn't powdered, put it through a coffee grinder first and then we're going to add four grams of honey. And then for our oil part, I have in half 17 grams of olive oil two grams of beeswax, and six grams of emulsifying wax. So if you're wondering why I'm using both beeswax and emulsifying wax, it's because they do very different things. Emulsifying wax is our emulsifier and beeswax helps thicken the lotion. Um, I will link to a couple videos below that you can check out on the differences between beeswax and emulsifying wax. You can use both of them in a lotion, but you cannot use beeswax instead of emulsifying wax. So we're going to grab our water bath here. So this is just a wide flat bottom saute pan that has about two centimeters of water in it. I'm gonna pop in our oil part. And before I pop in our water part, I'm gonna cover it with a piece of foil to help reduce water loss. Now I have added a bit of extra water to this water part to help also compensate for water loss, but we will still lose water even with this covered. So between those two, we should be doing pretty well. And I'm going to go pop this on the stovetop over medium low heat for about half an hour. So after about half an hour, everything has heated up and melted through. So we will remove our beakers from our water bath and we're done with our water bath. So you can see the honey is dissolved, but we still have some clumps of pollen in there. So we'll have to blend those in. And then all of the oils have melted nicely. So we'll just pull that out. And so for this lotion, I'm playing with a new toy. And so this is an Ozeri milk frother. And this, uh, this thing means business. It has interchangeable heads and it goes up to 15,000 RPMs. So I'm gonna give this a quick buzz to break up the pollen. All right, that's looking much more uniform. This little mixer here also has a little stand that I can pop that in. Handy dandy. So now we're going to add the water part to our oil part. Now this thing needs to be clicked twice to get up to full speed, so that's why you'll see two little clicks here. I'm going to leave that to cool for about 10 minutes and come back and give it some more blending. So it's been about 10 minutes and you can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit on the top there, but not so much down through the bottom of the beaker here. So we'll give that a little stir and then we'll give that a bit of a blend. So this is starting to become more viscous, but it definitely still needs to cool and thicken some more. It's still 
reasonably warm to the touch. So I will scrape that off and we will leave this to cool and thicken for another 10 minutes before coming back and doing some more blending. Another 10 minutes later and this is starting to get lovely and lotiony. Excellent. It's still a little warm to the touch, but that should change quite quickly now that we're at this point. So I'm going to leave that to continue to cool for about another 10 minutes since it's still a little bit warm. But at this point in time, we are pretty close to done and all that's really left is our cool down ingredients and moving it to our container. All right, this is looking great. So it's time to add the last of our ingredients. So in here I have two grams of a royal jelly extract. And I'm also going to add about six drops of lavender essential oil. So now it's time to figure out how much preservative we need to add. So to do that, the first thing we need to figure out is how much lotion we have. I'm gonna grab our scale here, fire that up, and we're gonna put the empty water beaker on it. And this obviously only works if you're working with two identical containers. If you are not, you will need to weigh this container and note that weight before you get started and then use some subtraction to figure out how much product you have. So put the identical beaker on your scale, hit tear, remove the beaker, put that full one on there and you'll be left with the weight of your finished project, which is 106.7 grams in this case. So the preservative I'm using is Liquid Dermal Plus. So I'm going to grab my calculator here and do a quick little bit of math. So we need half a gram of Liquid Dermal Plus. So this is a more precise scale that goes down an extra decimal point, making it a good choice for measuring tiny amounts like this. Now half a gram sneaks up really fast. Oh, that's already too much. That's amazing how quickly that happens. So we're going to grab a spatula and take a little bit off here. All right, there we go. And put that in here, we're done with our scale. Now we're ready to pop this in our container. So I have a little four ounce or 120 milliliter mason jar here. And there you go, you just made some Cleopatra's Secret Body Lotion. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full written recipe and the link to the recipe on my blog, where you'll also find links to all of the ingredients I used. See you next time.